Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's Scorpso3 here. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Look, today we're going to look at the Call of Duty Black Ops uh, trailer for Cold War, one of the new games coming out soon. I'm super excited for the game. Um, but this trailer has a little bit of a talking point. This is a trailer like uh, we saw roughly in the last Black Ops um, trailer that came out for this game, but this one's got a little bit more sting to it. This one is powerful. It's so powerful, um, and I think it's really powerful because it tends to nudge along the lines of things that are happening right now, things that are happening right now to people. Uh, so it's, hey, whoever created this trailer, whether it was Treyarch or whoever bought this out, um, really put themselves on the line here, I feel. Uh, they really... This is what it feels like. Now, it may not be. It could just be a game trailer. Um, it may not be much more than that. But to be honest, it feels different. And I think you'll feel the same when you watch it. If you're in a Western country right now and you're watching this, you've probably already seen it. But um, it's it's powerful, lads. So if you haven't seen it, I recommend that you do now. And I should note that uh, Call of Duty bought out an official trailer afterwards like this is the official one but then they bought out an edited version afterwards so i'm not sure what happened there whether someone pulled them up and said hey you might have to change this whether it's the gods up above that rang down and said hey you've got to change this trailer because we can't have this going out or uh they edited out some pieces and i'll have a talk afterwards about this but strap on in for this trailer um yeah check it out and we'll have a chat after Let's go. Understand what's going on around you. You are in a state of war and you have precious little time to save yourself. process which we call active measures the first stage being demoralization it takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation the next stage is destabilization what matters is essentials economy foreign relations defense systems the next stage is crisis with a violent change of power structure and economy period of normalization this is what will happen in the united states if you allow all the schmucks to put a big brother government in washington dc we will promise lots of things never mind whether the promises are fulfilled or not time bomb is ticking but every second the disaster is coming closer and closer the danger is real and that's it that is the trailer for the new call of duty cold war now i don't know about you but that gave me the chills when i watched that the first time i was like my god that is one of the most powerful trailers for a video game I think I've ever seen. So it absolutely blows my mind. But um, look, what it actually surprises me is the person in that video is actually a real person. He's ex-KGB, um, has seen a lot of things that has gone on in history, especially with um, Russia and things like that. But it's a very interesting, you should definitely look him up and have a listen to a few things that he has on YouTube. Um, I'm actually surprised they're still up on YouTube and they haven't been banned. Um, but it's definitely worth a look. You need to understand. And I think this is the thing. You need to understand what's going on in the world right now because when you watch his videos, um, you'll understand that 
something very similar has happened before in history, in the history of the world. This is not a, this doesn't seem to be a one-time thing. I mean, people may say that this cold, this cough is um, something they've never seen before, but it really doesn't have anything to do with the cold and the cough. What this actually has to do is politics. It has to do with politics. It has to do with the narrative. It has to do with media. Uh, it has to do with a whole range of different things. So, um, And if you go to YouTube, and maybe if you type in Yuri, actually, I've got the video here. It's Understanding Modern, Pol- Understanding Modern Political Scenario with Yuri Bezmanov. Now, I hope I got his name right. Um, the YouTuber that actually found this information had said it took him a long time to find this information. And I'm not surprised because this is not something that the mainstream would ever push. Uh, but it is Amit Sengupta. I hope I got your name right, Amit. But man, great work with this. Great work to have this even out so people can see this. Um, and I think, I believe that everyone should watch this video to fully understand or at least get an idea of what's going on in the world. And it may or may not be correct, but you can just tell by the psychology that goes on behind this guy, how he understands, how he has seen what's happening right now that's happened before. Um, It's nothing new, but it seems new. So for us, for young people anyway, like it seems sporadic and crazy and out of control, but it actually, when you hear this guy talk about what goes on, it actually isn't. This has actually happened before, something very similar. So for your own mental health, for your own understanding, I believe that you should listen to this guy, watch this video. It is an hour, but it's an hour that will change your life or help you progress and help you think a bit clearly about what's going on so there's not so much mess but it gives you a fantastic understanding of the political backdrop of a little bit about how some politicians think maybe not all of them um, but uh, an understanding of how the political system may work Um, I say may because it it may not everyone has a different opinion and that's the thing so you can't just go by someone's opinion but I believe you need to have all the facts from both sides of the story and then you can make up your own mind as to what you believe. Um, That's the only way to make a solid judgment call. But hey, look, I'll definitely check this out. Understanding modern political scenario. um, Get on board with that and I believe it will help you immensely um, because knowledge is power. It may not be 100% correct, so don't follow every single word of it. Um, who knows but once you understand this you get a gut feeling you get a gut feeling to yourself of whether you believe that this is how um, the political scenario is working Um, and especially it even goes into the media and the media as well and how like no one elects the media the media have such a big drive over everyone's life they're in your lounge room every night of the week and they're giving you opinions uh, from my perspective, I think they're opinions. They're not facts. They're opinions. But who elects the media? Who actually elects them? There's no... We don't vote for who the media are, uh, but they're always there. And they're always in front of you every night of the week on television or whatever it may be. But throwing opinions your way, and it doesn't mean they're correct. It doesn't mean they're 100% correct. You need to do the research to find out for yourself Uh, If it's something that's going to change the rest of your life or affect the rest of your life, you need to understand it fully and you need to look at both sides of the story, not just one side of the story. Um, So look, just a quick video today. I highly recommend you go and have a look at these two videos um, and make up your own mind. Make up your own mind about what you see um, and yeah, go from there. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for taking time to have a look at this video. Please like and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more videos coming that will really be able to help you understand life, understand what's going on around you, and keep yourself safe and protected. We're going to look at um, finance. We're going to look at 
uh, your mindset. We're going to look at how you can control the situation in your own head because you can't control what happens around you. I believe that you can just control what goes into your mind and what you do about what goes into your mind. So thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, we will talk soon. Cheers.